Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's me, Iron Sheik eighty <laughs> four. I uh, I think I remember how to do this, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, I've been absent. Um, life is good. I have just been super busy. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, I celebrated my one year anniversary with my girlfriend this past weekend. So that was a lot of fun. That's why you didn't see me feuding and kind of like always just, you know, busy being a dad, busy with uh, Double T, which by the way, hello. <laughs> and yeah, just, you know, life is, uh, life's been good. I really don't know what else to say than that. <laughs> Spider Guard, thank you very much for the 100 bits. <laughs> So yeah, um, I, I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know really what to say other than, like, I do miss you all. I know I keep saying, oh, I'm going to stream more, oh, I'm going to stream more. So what I think I might do, uh, kind of going forward is, you know, like, for these, like, for these tours and stuff, I might just do smaller streams, like, you know, instead of, like, bigger streams for feuds and things, um, because I am kind of, like, you know, like, on the weekends that I don't have my kiddo, I'm hanging out with double T, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I guess a couple things to share, too, while I have a second, um, let me, uh, let's see, and I know I don't have music going, I'll do that in a little, I'll do that in a second, but, uh, in case anybody cares, <laughs> uh, Let's see there we go so um for our anniversary uh there was a thing there's a place uh that i saw on instagram called sushi bar um i saw it several months ago and i actually had to book it out um uh six weeks ago well i mean well, seven weeks at this point but uh yeah let's um let's take a look at some of the photos if they will pop up here yeah there we go so that's me there you go. This is a better picture. And um, they were nice enough to make me a mocktail since I don't drink. And uh, so they had like these um, welcome drinks that they called them. There was like basically like a mimosa. It was like, I think peach or something with uh, some champagne. So this was like a ginger beer with like bitters and like orange zest or whatever the hell it was i i don't know um so there you go happy anniversary yeah that's my real yeah, in case anybody ever wondered what my real name is it's shams uh it's shamsala but i go by shams because it's easier for everybody <laughs> and then um this was a uh this is some sort of like cucumber salad thing and they had that as a palate cleanser uh there's there's uh, my girlfriend sitting next to me um, so these were our chefs, and it was this very small, like, intimate 12 seat, uh, sushi experience, which is part of the reason why I had to book it out so far in advance. Um, I don't drink, but I went ahead and took pictures of the drink menu in case anybody wants to see it. You can always clip it and see it later, or, uh, check it out on YouTube at IronSheik84, whatever, uh, you get a chance, but... Um, so right here, he actually had a wasabi root and, uh, made it fresh, uh, right then and there. Um, yeah, uh, oh, Lisa, uh, so Lisa, it's, uh, it's called Sushi Bar. It's in, uh, it's, it was in downtown Dallas. So yeah, so he, like, he, he got the root and then chopped it up and you know made it into wasabi for everybody uh so this was the um so this was the omakase uh menu right here so the tatar the hotate the the chuturo the wagyu all that good stuff um so let's see so uh basically they had three stations and they were uh, you know, like, they were each preparing, like, one of the courses as they were going through, um, so, uh, let me see, so, like, they had, like, the little blow torches here, and they were, um, making, uh, you know, as they were preparing stuff, 
Um, the entire experience was phenomenal. Um, I'm going to scroll through a little bit because, I mean, like, you're going to see a bunch of pictures of individual sushi, but, um, yeah, it was, it was quite the experience, uh, a fantastic meal, um, it was, this was also, like, the most expensive single meal that I've ever had in my entire life, uh, but yeah, uh, just all good stuff, so, like, here, um, this is the Wagyu, um, so he was telling, like, you know, like, they were doing, like, little chops to help, like, you know, bring out the flavors and, you know, and whatnot, um, so, uh, whenever he went through, like, you know, and then he torched it, uh, like, you know, again, like, you know, it's like bringing out the flavors and doing, you know, doing this and doing that, um, uh, they, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a star, they're actually fairly new, um, so, uh, yeah, like, I'm sure, I mean, maybe they'll get one at some point. Oh, and Zandel, by the way, I was gonna talk about that, I saw Dentool this morning, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I still need to watch The Bear. Uh, I love, uh, what is it, Jeremy Allen, I think he's a fantastic actor. I was a big fan of Shameless, so, uh, I definitely want to see that. And then, um, like, you know, he did, like, another sear on it, on the Wagyu, while they were cooking. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, just, and then this was our dessert and everything was a fantastic bite all around. So, uh, yeah, just like I said, just a fantastic experience. We both loved it and we're super happy to do it. All right. All right. So yeah, um, now that I'm done talking about that, uh, <laughs> Just uh, other things in general, just, you know, things are going good with little Sheik. He's at ADA right now, so I'm actually going to leave uh, in an hour to go pick him up. So I do have a time frame on this. This, like I said, again, wasn't, I didn't expect, it, I'm not expecting this to be a super long stream to begin with anyway. Um, plus, there's not a ton to do in the game to begin with. Uh, but yeah, um, let's get going. Let me, let me start blue stacks. Let me get some music playing and uh let's uh do what we came here for all right let me just make sure the volume levels are good on the desktop audio so i don't blow out a speaker <laughs> uh there we go and let's do street fighter 2 go play Oh, uh, I, I, I'm a PC person. So, uh, I do have a Mac Mini. There we go. Yeah, um, I, I do, I, I do have, all my stuff is, uh, you know, I have an iPhone and an iPad. I, uh, my iPad's downstairs. Actually, that's what I use to read chat while I'm working. But, uh, yeah, I, um, uh, I do have a Mac Mini. Uh, it's downstairs in my kitchen. So that's my, like, if I don't feel like coming upstairs, <laughs> PC. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, Blue Stacks is going. Um, so Rusty, I don't know if Blue Stacks works the same on, um, on that. Are, are you running into the issue where your like blue stacks just isn't starting is that what the is that what the problem is And the reason why I asked that is um, I do have a video on how to do it. So if you want to check that out, and um, as always, if you have a question about how to do it, I can always uh, can always just get with you on. Um, we can, we can just set up a time where both of us. Uh, no longer supported for Max. Can't even download an install file. Um, let me see something real quick. Blue stacks.
Um, I might have to check. I might have to check that for you um, on the side. But yeah, we can. Uh, we can. Uh, if I can figure it out, I'll let you know. Because uh, like I said, I, I don't. I don't ever stream for my Mac Mini only because like, it's it's a Mac Mini, <laughs> you know. Uh, and also, I wish I kind of knew that I needed to put an install in before I uh, before I started this. But all right, hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Hang on. Might have to do something extra. And dump my info in there. Clear all. Sorry, just uh, want to make sure. Okay, looks like I got it working. Worst case scenario, I'll just move to my alternate layout. And just play on the portal. There we go, looks like, okay, looks like it's loading on my side finally. Points for blue coins. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. No megas for me, unfortunately, on stream. Oh, that's cool. You know what's funny is I got punk, and then like right after that, uh, you know, like they announced the Miz. So I was like, you know, and then everybody was like, oh, you know, uh, the Miz is a like Miz is a much better punk, and I was like, great. I was like, I. I uh, worked so hard to get somebody who immediately got <laughs> got nerfed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, clear that. All right, events. Oh, uh, and I guess everybody always like kind of wants to know like where I am right now. So um, uh, here's where I am on the sh super shard contest. Here's where I am in the Aussie contest. Here's where I am in Summer of Darkness. And yeah, so what is it? 13,375 more points than I have max. And then is there anything else relevant to show here? Um, yeah, there you go. That's where I am. And then um, I did get Tiffy. Um, and then on... I always forget, it's Julius is the chase one, right? Um, I need 439 more shards to recruit him. And then on Cody Rhodes, I need 1,789. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to be recruiting Rhodes. Um, and I'm not going to do that. Yeah, look. At, look. As God is my witness, if I don't have to use any of these, I'm not going to. These are going to stay in my inventory forever. Although, I think eventually I am going to have to cash in some posters because I am running super low on red TP. Alright, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do some tours. Alright, Rhodes Reunion. Contest. Let's move this over for right now. Yeah, well, trust me, it's a uh... So I know people have asked me like why I have all that stuff or how I haven't used it. Um, what happened was um, there was uh, a long, like long time ago, 
there was, uh, you know, like I used to just open them up monthly. And then um, what happened is, uh, like, I, like, I was just like, oh, I wonder, I wonder how long I can go without actually, like, without actually using these. And, you know, like, one month turned into two, turned into three, turned into four, and yeah, I just, you know, just, I have a ton of resources. Um, that, that's, that's literally it. You know, I'm just super stingy with the moves I make, and of course, Otto doesn't, this doesn't want to just one turn KO this crap. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, uh... I guess other stuff, like, you know, that I always talk about, um, I did go see Deadpool, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine today, it was, so, Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, and I'm not gonna give any spoilers, because it just came out, obviously, um, it was different than what I had expected it to be, but I had such a good time watching it, it was so much fun. And I just, like, I had a fantastic time. And, like, before I even went to the movies, I uh, went to Bojangles and got myself a, breast, uh, a breakfast biscuit. And uh, I, like, yeah, it was delicious. It was quite good. Uh, so, uh, what would I rate it? Um... Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, like, 10 being, like, you know, the greatest, you know, like, on my favorites of all time, and 1 being, like, absolute trash. Um, I don't know, I'd probably give it, like, an 8. And then, um, as far as hints or reveal on the connection to the MCU, um, I don't, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but the short answer is yes. Oh, no, uh, no, living nightmare. No, uh, a breakfast, uh, a breakfast sandwich, like a chicken, uh, chicken, uh, breakfast sandwich. Yeah, why not? Why, why shouldn't I get a breast? <laughs> Actually, I didn't know this, uh, until I went three weeks ago, four weeks ago, but apparently they have a, uh, like a collaboration with the WWE. Um, I don't want to, I like, I don't want to collect the, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to collect cups, you know, cause I... I told you all, I've cut down on, like, my collectibles, only because, like, I, I have, like, a, a long time ago, I had just totes and, like, just a whole, whole bunch of stuff that just sat in a drawer, and I was like, you know, and, like, you know, it was one of those things I was like, I've spent good money on this stuff, and, like, I never look at it, I never use it, it just sits there, so, like, I've cut back. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I tripped, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not, I'm never gonna say I'm the most eloquent person in the world. Um, I actually don't have any WWE action figures, um, so... Show this off real quick again, since uh, these tours aren't going to take me very long. Um, I, I I don't have a lot of memorabilia and stuff. Oh, here, hold on, hang. On. It's an autofocus. I know I know I'm blurry right now. One sec. Really? Okay, I don't know why I went blurry there for a second. Okay, I just reset my camera. Um, so, I'm not a big... I, I know everybody's different. I personally don't really like Funko Pops. But, uh, A friend got me this fantastic Peacemaker. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, so, like, uh... I have like this same friend got me this uh, uh, Iron Sheik. I'm trying to get the that's the glare. I can't do anything. So I have this like giant Iron Sheik pin, and then um, I have uh, like I have a bunch of uh, I have 
four or five uh, Funko Pops that people bought me as gifts. So I do have an Iron Sheik. I have a Rock, a Taker, and I forget what the other ones are. Um, I don't even really buy, like, T-shirts and things anymore. But one thing I will show off. For those of you who might be newer to the stream, uh, this is actually my rarest wrestling thing. I uh, this is an authentic Rivera jacket that you know goes out to the wrestlers. So yeah, this is uh, this is my most valuable item. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Like, uh, I, I I got this from uh, I got this because a friend of mine who used to work for uh, Funimation, the uh, the anime company. Um, she was at uh, I want to say C two E two, or it was I remember it was uh, it was a convention in um, the it was the Midwest, you know, North North Midwest, and uh, somebody was selling this, and I got it for two hundred bucks. And yeah, this is uh, this is the rarest item in my collection. And then I, I do have um, I do have a bunch of uh, signed eight by tens and whatnot, but that that's you know i mean that that's whatever i'm sure you you know like just seeing a bunch of uh squiggly autographs isn't really going to do much for anybody yeah unfortunately i never got to meet sheik before he passed away just uh never never got the chance unfortunately but you know that's the way life goes sometimes right Uh, as far as, like, other stuff goes that I've been watching, um, latest season of The Boys, ah, <laughs> I'm excited to see what the, uh, fifth and final season's gonna have. So, um, been, saw that, uh, what else? I haven't been out to the theaters much, only because, like, there really hasn't been an, as many, um, good things or, like, must-see things at the theater. You know, for me, at least. Uh, what else? I'm trying to trying to think. Um, oh yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I I did tell Retro this. Um, you know what? I'm gonna mute the music for a second. Um. So yeah, I am turning forty in November, you know, in November, and it's been a dream of mine to see the Northern Lights, so I am going to be in, uh, in the UK, uh, mid-November, so yeah, I, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I kind of forgot about <laughs> talking about that. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who are in England and Scotland, respectively, uh, if you're uh, if you want to meet up with Sheik in in person, <laughs> you have four months to figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, um, we already have some stuff planned out, um, and then yeah, we're trying to. Uh, when I say we, I mean my girlfriend and I. Um, we're trying to figure out where we want to see the Northern Lights because there, there, there are multiple options, of course. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we've been thinking like the Isle of, uh, it's the Isle of Skye, there's, um, Inverness and everything. So, yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, that, that's been a bucket list item of mine for as long as I can remember and yeah I'm so looking forward to it um so my birthday is November 1st uh but 
Uh, I didn't. I, I'm not going on my birthday because, um, uh, you know, obviously with Little Sheik, you know, I got. I'm gonna try to minimize the amount of time I'm away from him. Um, and on top of that too, uh, I don't want to miss uh, Halloween with the little one. So um, we're doing it like a little later than my birthday. Um, but yeah, I am I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so uh, for those of you who are in um, who are in the UK, uh, let's see, um, I'm gonna have to mute this because I don't want I don't want to I don't want to get an audio claim. So this. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna double check this. So, I uh, where the hell is it? Okay, not and um, okay, I, I did see it. Uh, I did see something. Where the hell is it? Okay. A great crunch to start it out. Okay, let me mute that. Okay. Um. Uh, for those of you who are in the UK, have you ever been to second, uh, have you ever been to, uh, the rack, uh, the rock and soul place? Yeah, hey doc. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I just I was like, hey, you know what? I was like, I, I was free, and I was like, you know what? I, I keep putting off like uh, I, I keep putting off uh, <laughs> like streaming. So I was like, ah, I just want to let people know I'm still alive, and you know things are good. Yeah. So uh, for for those of you who are in the UK, uh, I mean, well, I guess London specifically. Uh, rock and soul place and then um that's on the agenda for me to go to and then um i'm gonna have one like fancy like super fancy meal um i there's this uh yeah the fish and chip place yeah and then there's there's like one last place that i wanted to go to um so this is gonna be like this is gonna be my fancy meal. Like I said, uh, it. I wish they made it easier to find out where the hell the name of this place is. Um, it's a it's a beef Wellington place. And part of the reason why I'm going there too is they um, like apparently they uh, like they. They wrap it in uh, pate instead of like prosciutto, so yeah, I uh, like I'm so looking forward to going there as well. Um, let's see. I'm trying to like I'm not trying to um, I'm not trying to hold off on this. It's like. Of course like the name's not on there it's like there's like some place i saw it's it's it was from the best food review show um it's supposed to be like you go you got y'all can check it out for yourself i guess um because it doesn't instead of saying the damn name of the place it says uh you know it just says like uh beef wellington location number three which does like nothing for me um Oh no, here it is. Uh, Bob Bob Ricard City. Hey, Swaggy, what's up? Huge shout out to Swaggy. <laughs> How's it going? Um, no, uh, here I'll um, here I'll just share it in chat because I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to take up the place. But it's it's place number two in this link. And then for the beef Wellington, it's um, it's like it's like Bob Bob R Ricard City. 
I don't, um, or Bob Bob, but yeah, it's uh, place number three here. Yeah, so that's going to be like my fancy meal of, uh, of my trip. Alright, so let's see. So I got 15 shards of Brett. I already got Brett, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing good. I, I got a, I, I do have a hard stop at like 320, 320 so uh, I, I need to go pick up my kiddo from ABA. Um, but yeah, I like just, I haven't been on in like what, a month, two months or whatever. I mean, it's probably closer to two. But yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to come in and say, hey, you know, and say what's up to everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I did. I was sharing, um, sharing places that I'm going to, uh, or some of the places I had in mind when I go to London in November. And then for Scotland, I haven't really looked up uh, too many places to eat, although... Uh, I, I, like, in London, I saw that, uh, or, sorry, not London, in, in Scotland, apparently, like, in the pubs, they, like, deep fry, like, a deep dish pizza or something like that, and that's, like, bar food. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'll stop by and grab one as a snack. Yeah, but, dude, yeah, life is good, thankfully, um always blessed you know like really really don't know much more to say than that yeah i have a uh, yeah we uh yeah like uh double t and i are definitely uh checking out a bunch of we, we have we have a few we have a few things in mind um so we're actually we're actually thinking of only being in London for like a day or two um, and then spending the rest of the time in Scotland because the way I booked my tickets I'm coming into London but I'm leaving out of Scotland uh, just because like you know since I plan on going to the Northern Lights in Scotland um, so yeah um, oh Mars uh, fried Mars bars oh, you know like they do fried Snickers bars here so, um, I can't ever remember having one, but, like, yeah, I, uh, I mean, it'll be good. I, I mean, I, I'm planning on, I'm planning on just, like, look, I'm gonna enjoy myself. There's gonna be no, like, diet, obviously no pork. I don't drink, so that's not gonna happen, but as far as, like, diet restrictions and stuff go outside of those obvious things, um, I'm just gonna enjoy, I'm just gonna enjoy life and... Uh, you live it up because I I haven't um, I haven't been back to I, I haven't been back to London in 13 years actually actually I should have looked scrolled to see what else I got yeah um, yeah I I went I, I went to Europe for spring break in 2011 so I went to London for a few days went to Paris for a few days and then I was in uh, Holland for a few days and then I took the train back to London and flew back to flew back to the States um, yeah so like I told her um, you know like even if we're doing the touristy stuff like like I haven't been like you know I didn't see like did I see the changing of the guards absolutely but you know that was 13 years ago you know like I like I went to the Tower of London again that was 13 years ago so, um, I, like, I told her, I was like, I don't mind doing the touristy stuff again. Um, but yeah, we're planning on, like, we're planning on maybe being there two days, maybe three. And then we're going to take, like, a train or, um, a train or, like, a bus or something. You know, we'll, we'll, fig we'll figure it out. But yeah, we're going to spend the rest of the time in, uh, in good old Scotland. thankful that nobody has a, an escape artist plate which is making it easy bring a raincoat yeah well i'm hoping in november like i know it'll be cold but like i hope it's just cold and not cold and rainy but yeah but that's something that yeah i'm gonna keep an eye on the weather definitely whenever uh, whenever we go over there
Alright, there we go. This is done. Let's go for the challenge magic. Oh, Swaggy, thank you very much for the five bits. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, well, I'm gonna use Austin here. Set up. Well, I mean, I don't mind the rain. I just hope that it's not, like, that it doesn't force us to stay in a hotel room the entire time. All right. So here we go. I'm going to kick Cody Rhodes in the wiener. Sammy, so now I'm only like, what, 400, 500 shards away from recruiting him. <laughs> All right, there we go. Challenge match number two. Legends era. Ugh, which means I got to use Hogan again. Or no, I can choose, no, Rain. Anybody else do cross break uh, cross break damage? Other than Horn Stash Horton. I don't want to use Hogan. I'm I'm so sick of using him over that past tour. Striker Andre. Okay, well, a little too late, but maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll switch that up. Wham. Forget Striker Andre, a coach or a trainer. Two, one, yeah, I don't have them. Okay, that's that's why. Yeah, and I know if I get the prestige pass that he's available on there, and I could get him, but, you know. Eh, whatever. Watch him kick out, kick out of this turn one. Or, <laughs> for you.
I don't mind using a couple props. I actually, I, I, I re, uh, I topped up the other day after I had to use a bunch to beat, uh, to beat, uh, what's her face. When you had to use Becky to, to beat, uh, Trish. Oh, let me tell you how much I loved that one. Hey, Brother Ray, I'm doing good. Life is good. Mom, uh, my mom asked me a quick question. All right. All right, more Cody shards of somebody I already have. Yeah, not much. Like, yeah, I just uh, I hadn't streamed in a while, so I was like, okay, I'll do a quick stream before I have to go pick up my kiddo. Go hard mode done, and now last challenge match. Let's see, modern era required. All right, I guess I'll use this doofus here. Uh, what is it? Seven. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There he is. And let's see, for previous, I had him and him. There we go. Let's take it off the set for right now. Let's double check something. Should have checked that first. He does not have immunity from stun. It's kind of funny. I was all like, you know, everybody was like super excited about Braun, and like now I really, really haven't used him much in a while. <laughs> Bam. Actually, like it's funny. Like I, you know, like there's a ton of characters that like i was like super excited to you you know to like to get and use at first and like now they're just like sitting there and i'm like eh whatever there we go and bam swipey swipe Mostly because I don't have any of those uh, plate go boom sort of situation. Uh, you know, uh, I can't blow up the board with like whatever, like a, the the running wild plate or whatever it is. Like you know the the one that creates a shitload of gems whenever you break uh, that stuff. Like the like what Merrick's had. I I unfortunately don't have one of those, so I'm kind of stuck with what I got. And that's part of the reason why I don't really uh, use them so much. Any six star gold re regrets? Um, no, not really. Not, 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 not yet, at least. I, I've been, I've been pretty stingy with um, who I've taken up. Um, so I, I'll show it after this match is over, um, which is unfortunately going to have to take me like multiple loops. Um, so. When, uh, when they revealed that they were releasing League 22, 23, and 24, I got to 24 as quickly as I could. Um, and then once I got there, I kind of, like, I, I, I cooled off on what I was doing. Um, only because, like, I didn't really need to do it as much. Like, I felt like I have time now to kind of do it at my leisure. Um, I, I can show off, like, who I have at 6-star gold for right now and kind of go into that. Because I got, uh, once this match is over, like, you know, I'm done. So I got about 10, 10 minutes to, to, to talk before I got to go. There we go. Hopefully this...
this will keep him down because really don't want to do another loop but if I have to I do it's whatever there we go come on RNG all right yay If he was gonna, if he kicked out of that, I was gonna be, I was gonna be, uh, <laughs> really salty. Plus 300 move damage trap for Kabuki. Being used reworked, does he work? Ah, uh, probably not, honestly. Oh, I didn't even look at what I got there. Uh, okay. Ugh. Should have seen, like, I, like, I'm just so used to, like, clicking, like, I didn't, like, you know, I don't, like, ever look at my rewards or whatnot. Alright, here we go. Hey, more mist shards. Alright, at least the Sammy ones are useful. Because I don't have him. Shards, ten shards. All right, we got that, and then finally, there we go. All right, well, nodes are done. Um, all right, is there a faction contest with this? Oh yeah, I guess for boss shop currency and whatnot. Okay. Cody Rhodes, Sammy, don't have him. I do have Brett, um, but he's not, that. like, he's at five-star bronze. Cody I have, Grayson Waller I have, any powerhouse, any Creed brother. Okay, so I'll be able to help out my faction with everything except for these three. Um, okay, who do I have at six-star gold? Oh, uh, this is what I was going to show off. So, yeah, League 24. Um, I have 16 six-star golds, um, and then, you know, I, I've been, I've been patient about moving, le leveling people up, and I have six-star gold, Parody. there we go, so, um, these are fuses, by the way, so I didn't take these up, and then, uh, I got Charlotte, Devon, Seth freaking Rollins, Zombie Liv, uh, Tech Charlotte, Austin, uh, Zombie Sammy, Taker, uh, DDP, China, Bubba Ray, Miz, Roxanne, and then the Weenie right here. So yeah, those are those are my six the six star golds. Um, I mean, I don't really like have any regrets. I mean, like I wouldn't have taken up these. Uh, you know, I wouldn't take enough Taker and then, um, China and the Weenie, respectively, but, you know, uh, I wanted some six-star golds and I had, like, the tokens to do it, um, so, I, I consider, like, Hall of Fame's their own separate thing, and then as far as, like, my other six-star gold moves, I, I don't regret any of them, because I think these are all perfectly good people. Yeah, I kind of did that as a... I, I did that just also for, like, for the lulls as well. Because everybody knows how much I hate... I, how much I hate Rey Mysterio. So, I just uh, I just figured it would, like, you know, give everybody a chuckle that I, uh... That I moved him up. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Taker at 6-star... Honestly, I haven't used Taker once since I took him 6-star gold. I only did it because, um... I... When I hit League 23... You had to have 10 at 6-star gold. And uh, I didn't want to spend all my coins on the tokens. So I just picked two, I just I just picked three people who were maxed out already. And then kind of went from there. Um, what was I going to look at? There's something I was going to go here for. Oh, yeah, I guess... for a mount yeah so with like the gold star tokens uh, yeah these are what i was going to show up so uh i mean i haven't i have enough to set to take up you know more six star golds but yeah like i was i was just i was trying to think long term you know things so 
Uh, you know, like, I have plenty of Hall of Fame regular tokens, and, you know, I have plenty of the, uh, the gold ones here. So that's, that's what really influenced my decision to, to move them up. It wasn't, uh, like I said, it wasn't a, like, oh my god, I gotta have Taker moved up. Um, I can do a match with them real quick, I guess. Usually just run them this kind of the same way that I always have. Do I have a loadout for him? We'll do this, and then, um, here we go, and, So 16 mil, I mean, not terrible, but I'm also like, I, I, I don't have like all the bells and whistles. Like, I'm sure I, I'm sure I could probably squeeze out like a couple mil more damage, but really, I don't really like, I, I tell you, it's probably the first time I've used him since, since I took him six star gold. Um, also, I guess, uh. Sorry, one sec, everybody. This will be the last thing I do, I guess. Um, I have extra gift card money, so uh, why the why the hell not? Come on, red TP. Nope. All right, we will. Uh, We'll do this, and then I'm gonna call it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what I get. All right, 
There we go. Alright, it's 25 shards of D-Lo. Thousand shards of Cowboy Bob. Twenty-five shards of Grayson Waller. Two thousand shards of Kofi. Twenty-five shards of Damian Priest. Two thousand shards of China. All right, sounds good, Retro. All right, look at that, Military Cena. Okay, well, I figure the polls are probably going to be really crappy this weekend anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. I'm gonna go pick up my kid. So, uh, appreciate y'all hopping on. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I hope you like seeing the photos and everything. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably do, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do, like, these shorter streams more often if I'm able to. Uh, but, yeah, um, I'm going to put this on YouTube. So, as always, my ending is going to be, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch at IronSheik84 for more WWE Champions action. Uh, and with that, I wish you all a wonderful blessed day. Thank you again for hanging out. Best of luck this weekend with the Faction Boss. And I will see you around, ladies and gentlemen. So have a good one. Be safe. Be happy. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be around. <laughs> but yeah, bye everybody.